Welcome to True Crime Review, an unflinching gaze into the depths of human depravity. The podcast covers current crime news, updates on cold cases and resources for research and investigation. True Crime Review often discusses disturbing and violent crimes. So listener discretion is advised. A major break in the double murder of a father and his nine-year-old daughter shot and killed in a home invasion last month. Three people have been arrested now, and one of the suspects is the national head of the Minutemen American Defense. Shauna Ford, charged with first-degree murder, and according to investigators, is the mastermind of the brutal crime. Her alleged cohorts, Albert Gaxiola and Jason Bush, all three, reportedly barged into an Aravaca home, intending to steal cash and drugs. And inside, nine-year-old Brisenia Flores shot and killed her father, Raul, also shot dead. The sole survivor, Brisenia's mother, who was shot, She survived, and she managed to return fire during the incident, hitting one of the suspects. Welcome to episode 10 of True Crime Review. I used to call these types of episodes emergency audio. But because I will in the future be including things like courtroom audio and police interrogations, I'm going to start calling them from this point on just true crime audio episodes. And this one will be a 911 call, although like I said, not all of them will be. This episode is about the murders of Raul and Bresenia Flores. On May 30th, 2009, 29-year-old Raul Flores Jr. and his daughter, 9-year-old Bresenia Ileana Flores, were murdered at their home in Arivaca, Arizona, during a robbery by Shauna Ford, Jason Eugene Bush, and Albert Gaxiola. Both Raul and Brisenia were born in the United States and were thus American citizens, as is Gina Gonzalez, the victim's wife and mother, who survived the attack. And it will be her call to 911 uh, during the murder of her husband and her daughter, her youngest daughter. Her older daughter was not uh, with her and her, her family in the family home. When this crime took place, her older daughter was thankfully, I think, with uh, the grandparents. But here is Shauna Ford speaking on PBS in 2006. We are now joined by Yakima Valley residents and a number of invited guests who will share with us their insights on the immigration issue. Joining us up front here tonight, Shauna Ford, a member of the Minuteman and a representative of the Federation of American Immigration Reform, a national group concerned about border security. What do we need to do to fix it? It's pretty easy. Uh, Title 8 law 1324 states that if you hire somebody who's illegal, it's a crime. So what makes this nation a wonderful nation and one of the greatest nations on earth is we are a nation of laws. And I agree that there needs to be some reform, but what, at what cost? And why is it that we have to keep flipping the bill as a middle-class America and the degradation to our society and our sovereignty is incredible. It's, it's, it's not fair. It's wrong. And I would encourage every single person to get educated on how much we're spending in this state, which is upward to $500 million in illegal immigration. And they come here and they continue to come here. And it's not just Hispanics. It's all races. We need to have border security. It's an, it's, it, it's essential. Most people forget about 9-11. But can any of you tell me out of the 100,000 illegal immigrants, which one of them were a terrorist? Anybody? No, Shauna, I probably could not pick out on site who is a terrorist and who is not. What I do know, you jackass, is that there were three terrorists near the border 
on May 30th, 2009, and none of them were immigrants. None of them were illegal immigrants. None of them, at the time they were attacked, were engaged in any crime of any kind. On May 30th, 2009, there were indeed three terrorists near the border in Arvaca, Arizona. Their names were Shauna Ford, Jason Eugene Bush, and Albert Gaxiola. And their victims were Raul Flores, Bresenia Flores, and Gina Gonzalez. So we do have a border security problem. And its name is Shauna Ford. Murder suspects Shauna Ford and Albert Gaxiola, both pleading their innocence in the shooting deaths of nine-year-old Bresenia Flores and her father, Raul Flores. A third suspect, Jason Bush, was arrested in Kingman. Jason Bush was, in fact, the shooter of all three of these people under orders from Ms. Ford. The motive? Pima County Sheriff Clarence Dupnik. The husband who was murdered has a history of being involved in narcotics. And uh, there was an anticipation that there would be a considerable amount of cash at this location, as well as the possibility of drugs. To just kill a nine-year-old girl because she might be a potential witness to me is one of the most despicable uh, acts that I can, I've ever heard of. The three suspects were brought to trial, and all of them were convicted. Shauna Ford, who again was the leader of the group, and Jason Eugene Bush, who was pegged as the gunman who shot to death both Raul and Bresenia, he and Shauna both got the death penalty. Albert Gaxiola was sentenced to life in prison, plus, I think, 54 years. Here's a clip, appropriately enough, from another PBS show in Arizona called Horizonte, and it explains the outcome of Shauna Ford's trial and sentencing. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jose Cardenas. An Arizona jury sentences an Arizona Minutemen leader to death. Shauna Ford was found guilty earlier this month for the May 2009 murder of nine-year-old Briseña Flores and her father, Raul. Ford was convicted of first-degree murder and other charges in a home invasion in southern Arizona. Prosecutors say Ford planned the break-in to fund her anti-immigration operation. All three of these individuals are still incarcerated, and Shauna Ford and Jason Eugene Bush are still on death row. I'm going to play the call in a moment. I just want to do an additional warning here that it's a really sad call. And Brisenia is still alive when Gina, her mother, calls 911. And she is shot in the face and then the head shot to death while her mother is on 911 in the other room. And her mother actually says later, I don't know if it's in court or to a reporter that she saw out of the corner of her eye because she didn't have a good line of sight on her daughter and Gina was had been shot herself and so was on the ground. She saw out of the corner of her eye her daughter slumped backwards on the couch that she was sitting on uh, when she died. So it's a very, very sad call. Just a warning. And as I always do, I will play the audio uncut I have not added any audio from this point on to the phone call. I've not subtracted any. I've done some minor edits just to make it a little clearer and easier to understand. Here it is. 911, where is your emergency? No, somebody just came in and shot my daughter and my husband. They shot them? Please, what's your address? Arizona. And what's your and they shot your husband and your daughter? Are they are they out conscious? Please, please mom, please. She's bleeding out of her mouth. Please. How please. old is your daughter? She's 10. 10? And where, where were they shot? In the head. 
in the head. Should I pick her up so she's not bleeding? No, no, I want you to leave her where she is, okay? What I'm going to do, are they still there, the people who are there that shot him? They're coming back in. They're coming back in. Do you know who they are? Hello? Are you still there? Are you okay? Ma'am, I don't know. I'm scared. I'm okay, scared. can you, how many people were there? I don't know, ma'am. Okay. Just, I was asleep and I can't even move. I've been shot myself. I don't okay, where know. were you shot? I think I'm shot in the leg. I'm not sure, ma'am. Okay. Please hurry. You, are you armed? Yeah. Okay, I they're have... coming. Lights and sirens. Okay, they are coming. Ma'am, please hurry. And you, did you see any of them? No, I didn't. I just got up, ma'am, because they told us that they told us that somebody was um had escaped jail or something. They wanted to come in and look at my house, and they just shot my husband, and they shot my daughter, and they shot me. Okay. Oh my God, ma'am! I okay, can't the... believe this is happening. Yeah, they are coming. Okay. You said that they they told your husband that they wanted to come in because there's a, a escape person. Yes. And that the whole party was surrounded. I'm sorry, that the whole property was surrounded with Border Patrol and everything. Oh, fuck, my leg is killing me, ma'am. How long is it going to take them to get here? Okay, and are they still in the house? I don't know, ma'am. I'm just sitting right here bleeding like crazy, and I got this gun loaded. Okay, what kind of gun do you have? I don't know what it is. Is it a handgun or is it a rifle? It's just a handgun. Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe they killed my family. Yeah. Where in the where in the house are you? I'm in the kitchen right here just staring at the Are you with your are you with your husband and your daughter? No, I don't even want to look at them okay. now. What kind of vehicles do you have on your property? Um, I have a suburban in the front and I have a What color, color is the suburban? It's black. It's and black or it's okay. white. I don't know if they stole it though. All I could hear is that they were looking for money and they stole other stuff. I don't know. They, it looked like they were putting stuff in my house or something. <laughs> no, and you said you, there was a white truck or a sedan? It's a white Ford. White Ford truck? Yes. And uh, did it sound like males were talking? There was a male and there was a shorter, fat woman. Okay, now the woman, what did she look like? Was she a Hispanic ma female? No, she was a white, she short was white? woman. Okay. And I have one of their guns here that they fucking left. Okay, her. don't touch that. Okay, do okay. not touch that. I'm sorry. No, 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 you're fine. Hon, right you're fine. Don't worry. It's fine. Just don't oh. worry about your cussing. Can you remember the clothing that the female was wearing? They're all dressed in, um, in, um, in, uh, camouflage. Camel, like green camouflage? I couldn't tell. And okay. the guy is, like, super tall. And the male, was he also white? Yes. Okay. And then a Mexican came in. So there was a, a white male, a white female, and a Mexican male? Yes. And was he tall or was he like average? No, he was like almost six something. He was tall also? They shot me and I pretended like I was dead and my daughter was crying so they shot her too. They shot her again after the first they time you told me? Like they shot her like two or three times. Okay, is there anybody else in the house that, no, of your family? I'm by myself. Okay, so it's just you, your husband, and your daughter that were in the house? Yes. Do you have any dogs, anything in the house? Um, there was a couple of dogs, but I think they went out when the door opened. Them. Okay. I need a... <sighs> okay, they are, they are coming lights and sirens. We have units in the area, okay, but I want you to stay on the line with me until we have someone yeah, with you. We are. We're, com we're coming, okay? We are coming. Uh, I 
around there last Saturday I got in a fight with a girl and they think maybe she has something to do with it. Okay. Now, do you, do you, I mean, was there any, like, drugs mentioned or were they just looking for money? What were they, do you know? I couldn't tell. They just said hurry up and get what we need. But, I mean, we don't have drugs or anything like that in this house. Okay. Do you think maybe it was a mistake? Do, do you know your neighbors know. have anything? They, no, I don't know. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm in so much pain. Yeah. And in which leg it was shot? Oh, my right. Your my right, right leg. Okay. And it's falling asleep. Keep, yeah, keep some pressure on it, okay? I'm just trying to hold it. My yeah. What am I gonna do? I don't know, honey. We'll get somebody out there for you and they'll help you through this, okay? <sighs> and the gun that you said they left behind, is that a handgun? Ow, ow, ow. Oh my god. <sighs> that that gun that they left behind, that's a handgun, right? It looks like a sawed off shotgun or something okay. like that. <laughs> And you didn't touch it, right? No, I can't okay. move. Yeah, I'm like, okay, this, I that's good. Don't, don't touch it. As soon as I thought they had left, and I think she came back because they forgot the gun, and I jumped up, too. Okay. My husband's always had a gun in the house just in case. And that's good that you knew how to use it. Were you, did, you, did you hit any of them or any of them wounded, you know? Oh, so, ma'am. I was that you shooting that I heard also? No, he was shooting he at He was shooting me. at you? And you don't think you hit any of them? No. Okay. Did you shoot off any rounds from your gun? Yes. Okay. Oh my god, ma'am. How many shots do you think you shot off? I don't know, whatever you heard. <laughs> okay. So was that you only you shooting or did they shoot too? No, they were shooting too. Okay. <sighs> Oh my God! Okay. And now, did you hear any vehicles speed off after they left left this last time? I just heard some doors shut. You heard doors shut, but that was it. Okay. How long is this case? They they should be in the area. I think what they're doing right now is just checking the area. But we're I'm I'm trying to convince them to get someone to you. Okay. So they should, there should be, there's multiple units, I mean, there they have, like, the whole army coming towards you, okay? I need to lay down, ma'am, I'm okay. sorry. That's fine, lay down, but take the phone with you, okay, keep me on the line, so you can keep me updated on how you're doing. Is your, your daughter still crying? No, she's, I think she's gone now. Okay. And you're not expecting anybody, right? No family members are coming to visit, anything no, like that? No, okay. it's too darn late for that, we were sleeping. Okay. <laughs> And does it sound like they have any accents of any kind? Were they speaking like normal English, like um, you and me? The two first ones came in were speaking English to us, and we were asking what's going on, and they were telling us you don't have the right to ask any questions right now. We need to check your house for this, 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 and this. And my husband's like, why do you have tape on your gun? And that's why they shot him. Oh, okay. So they told, did, they, did you notice they took anything? I was just telling you I was dead. Yeah, okay. No, no, I mean before when they first came in. No. Okay. How are you doing? Are you, are you holding up okay? I understand what you went just went through. But I, don't, I don't mean to ask that in that sense, but is your leg, your feet, are you okay? I'm just going to lay you. Okay. the male shot your husband? Yes. Okay. Was it the white male or the Hispanic male? They didn't come and talk to me. So um, was there another one besides the three subject suspects that you told me about? No. Hold on, no. There was a, a lot of them. But the ones you saw, there was the white, the Hispanic, and the female. No, right now, I don't know. Okay, I need you. To, I need you to think. I need you to help. Just kind of focus on what I'm saying to you and try and answer the questions. I know your leg hurts. I understand that, um, that, that your family um, were shot, but I need you to answer these questions so we can help catch these people. Okay? I just need you to think, just to keep your mind off of what's going on. Okay? If you had to estimate, how many people would you say? 
or what, four or five, and were they a male and then that one female? Yeah. Okay. Were they all wearing camel camouflage? I only saw the first. Only saw the three. Okay. And you're in the kitchen? Okay. And you can't think of any any um, one that would want to hurt you or your family? Mm -mm. You don't have any family? Can you do me a favor? Ma What's that? Can you call my mom and dad? Oh, yeah. What room is your husband and your daughter in? They're right here next to me. They're in the kitchen also? In right. the living room. Oh, because you're in the living room now? No, they're in the living room. Oh, okay. I ran to the kitchen to get the gun. Okay, so are you, um, are, is it like your kitchen and your living room connected? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are they on their way? Now? Yeah, yeah, they're in the area. They're, they're right there. I'm really afraid that some people are going to come back. Yeah, they should, I mean, they should be right there because they're asking you where you are and where your husband and your daughter are, so. Tell them it's safe to come and fly and nobody's in here. Okay. Oh, my life is I didn't know her. Really yeah. Bad. So you heard me yelling at them, right? I, yeah, I heard, I heard a couple shots and then I heard you yelling saying, um, um, you said get out or I'm going to shoot you kind of thing and then I heard more shots. Is that going to be held against me? <laughs> no, this is self-defense. <laughs> you're, you're going through a traumatic event, dude. I wouldn't expect anything less. And it's good that you got it on tape. I mean, everything, it's, because <laughs> you're telling them, you're telling them to get out and this was after the shots were fired and then I don't know if you shot first, I don't know what happened, but everything is on, everything that I could hear is on the recording. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I'm sure it seems like a lifetime. And can you remember anything about the people that you saw that would make them stand out? She was really short and fat and he was really t super tall and he was a big guy. Okay, were they wearing any um, masks, anything? No, his, his face is painted black. The, the white guy? Mm -hmm. And was he the only one that had the painted face? Mm-hmm. Okay. That I know of. So like the, the female that you saw and the other male that you saw, they didn't have black faces? Mm. Okay. I only saw the lady. I didn't see the other person that came in. Okay. So the female face wasn't painted black? No. Could you tell what color hair she had? Did she have a hat on? I didn't even pay attention. Okay. No, I understand. I'm just, I'm just asking you questions. Oh, my God. <sighs> And I'm so sorry for this. How the heck does this stuff happen? Nobody ever has a reason for these things. <laughs> I'm like, I've never heard of any of this stuff happening in Aravaca. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely new to me. I haven't I haven't heard of anything like this either. I wonder if they stole my vehicles outside as well. Okay. And can you tell me the best way to get to your house? Um, just go down the ski road where the community center is, come all the way down. All the way down to the end, all, all the way southbound? I don't know, ma'am, I don't know. Okay. Is it, are you right there at the corner of Hard Scrabble and the ski? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you have a fence around your property at all? Oh, yeah, my lights are all on, though. Okay. So the fence, is it just your front yard or the backyard? No, it's just the front. Okay. And you're right there on the corner. There's no other trailers or anything on the property. I hear somebody pulling up. Is that them? Or that, you're scared? No, that, that that should be them. Let me check, let me double check though. Okay. 
Do you see any flashing lights, anything like that? Huh? Do you see any flashing lights? I can't get up. Okay. Like, you don't see anything like reflecting off the house or anything? Mm -mm. Okay. They should announce themselves, like when they're coming in, they should say, They're pulling out really fast. They're pulling out like they're leaving? Yeah. Can you, all right, can you see what's going on? Hold on, I need to get the gun. Yeah, yes, get the gun. Are you up? Are you walking? No. Are you crawling? No. Okay, you're, so you're still in the same place you were? Okay. Somebody came and took off, ma'am. Is it like um, gravel on oh, gravel? You could hear the gravel? Uh, I hear the dirt. The dirt, okay. And you didn't hear any doors open or shut or anything like that? Are you hearing anything right now? Crazy yeah, there's <laughs> there's lots of deputies coming your way, so I'm hoping it's one of them. Do you hear a lot of movement outside? Like, um, yeah, I hear cars just driving back and forth. But you can't see outside. Uh -uh. Does it sound like they're speeding? Yeah. Okay, we do have units there. Keep me on the line, okay, until there's someone with you. You're sure it's them? I'm sure it's them. My dispatcher just told me that someone's there now. And they have Border Patrol with them, okay? okay. So they should be coming into the house. So they're going to announce, and more than likely, they're going to clear the property. So if they, if they, like, you hear people coming in, um, let, let me know, okay? Okay, can you please call my family now? Yeah, they're going to, I put, you put their name and number in the call, so oh, that's going to get done. they lock the gate and they can't get in. I hear them trying to open it. The gate locked? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they lock, they might have locked the gate when they left and make it harder to get in. Please tell them to hurry in. Yeah. Come in, sir. Put, put your hands up and put the gun down, okay? They're yelling at Put your hands up and put the guns down. I can't get up. No, no, I, you don't have to get up. I just want, what I want you to do is I want you to put the gun down. Okay. I want to put it away from you. So I'm in here, sir. I'm in here. Tell them you can't move. I'm in the kitchen on 911, sir. I'm right here, and there's the gun. Is he with you? Yeah, he's with me. Okay, I'll let you go. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So there it is. This has been episode 10 of True Crime Review. True Crime Audio, the murders of Pesenia and Raul Flores. You can find us on our website at truecrimereview.net. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash truecrimereview. You can find us on Instagram at the same username, instagram.com slash true crime review. We're also on Twitter at true crime REV. And finally, if you are a Redditor, you can find us at r slash true crime review. And I've started putting all of our episode notes on Reddit as they develop. So if you want to be sort of be a part of that and help me to do research and stuff like that, then you can, uh, you should head on over to, to Reddit. Finally, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. We're on iTunes, we're on Stitcher, we're on Google Play, we're on Overcast, we're on Pocket Casts. Anything with pod or cast in the name, chances are you can find True Crime Review over there. And Again, please leave a review if you haven't already. I don't read the reviews in these true crime audio episodes, 
but I will be reading reviews in episode 11 when I'm back to the standard format. So please leave a review. Hopefully it's a positive one. If you have complaints, hopefully you will explain to me how I can address those and we can go from there. Finally, if you have any friends who, if you have any friends, you're already ahead of me. I'm kidding. If you have any friends who might want to give us a listen, please send them our way. And hopefully they will they will like uh, what we're trying to do here. This has been True Crime Review. And remember, as always, families deserve truth and victims deserve voices.